Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, what am I doing in the carry? No, not carry in the academy. Reset my stats, that's what I did. Uh, show you my stats. Actually, I'll show you my stats after I show you what I wanted to show you. Show the skills that. I, like these that we haven't really used. Uh, I'll pop the flask for this one. None of them really seem that interesting, except from the insect one, but we'll get to it, let's see, so. That seems pretty cool. Seems pretty lame. That one might honestly be fairly strong. Can charge it up to make it stronger. Yeah, so all pre eh. except from this potentially. I wonder if this works the same way as uh, as the uh, the other thread skill. I guess we can try it one day. Anyways, those were the, those skills. Uh, these are my stats. Give me a second. Forty forty arcane and dex and endurance sixty vigor. Put a little bit into mine just to have some more FP. Strength fifteen just to try a couple of weapons. Intelligence eleven. For the throwing knife, really, and fate 15 for uh, basically some of the spells. So let's just put some spells on the bar. Oh, we don't really use spells, but. But whatever. Oh, wait, now we can try it. Oh, well. Uh, anyways, these are decent. The shadow bait is decent. Can still use these protection spells if we need to. We still have access to these if we need to. Uh, so yeah, a good old, good old setup. Uh, what else? Right, weapons. Anyway, I think I'm gonna miss the big ass uh, sword. Great sword. I actually kind of enjoy this because it just simplifies this uh, DLC a bit, or just not simplifies, but Allows me to skip some of the more annoying mechanics. Anyways, 15 strength I put in because of Flamber. And the Great Dragon Katana, the Dragon Hunter Katana. And some other things, I think. I don't remember exactly. Um, yeah, so this one is like 20 strength. Can't really use it. Uh, this is 22, so I have to use Talismans on the Great Rune for this, which is fine. Be honest. So yeah, uh, let's uh, let's try the thing that I've wanted to try for a while now. Uh, where is it? Where do you be? Backhand blade. There. All right. Now, I really like this. Don't get me wrong. But. What is most damage? Standard or key? I mean, the odds are we're probably just gonna put blood on it, right? But let's see. Uh, standard would be 395. And keen would be. No, sorry. Uh, yeah, actually, 395. Keen would be 400. And forty two. It's way better. So if you don't remember, this weapon has an insane recovery from the uh running hit. Immediately dodge. 
almost immediate from there. That's yeah, super good. Anyways, let's see. Let's get into the light. A little bit less exciting than I thought, but let's see. Uh, curve blade, blah blah blah. Skill passed down amongst horns and swordsmen. Take a swift forward step to slice through foes. This sharp strike also fires off a sharing vacuum. Can be charged to increase the skill's power and the distance of the forward leap. Actually, it's shorter and faster than I thought, which actually is a good thing. Let's give it a shot. We'll try it without any blood stuff, for the time being. And then we'll just see how that works out. Uh, let's see. Good old Dragon Communion Seal, where are you? Uh, in terms of what we want... Read it doesn't matter. Definitely keeping this for... Um, bosses. I can have that on as well for doesn't really matter. You're not in a boss fight right now. Uh, so yeah. We'll see if you make anything or add anything with that. Uh, while we're here though, what is the moveset of this weapon? It's gonna be interesting to use this with an occult uh, thingy. Actual warp. But we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Anyways, I don't really think I need anything else on the bar. Those are talismans. We're not using any status effects right now. But we are gonna try, don't worry, the poison build as well with the, all the poison stacking stuff. I just wanna see how much damage this does as is. So. So we can go with FP recovery and then uh, actual war. I don't think there's anything else. I mean, of course, we have regular physical increase and stuff. But, uh, yeah. In terms of what to wear, as usual. You like this? Well, I like this. How can I always forget where the scaled stuff is? Where is it? Maybe we can put on the armor, see what it looks like. I mean, we know what the armor looks like. I mean, uh, the weights. Where is it? Where art thou? There we go. Still medium by a huge margin. I can actually put on some heavier boots for this. I mean, Heavier even. Oh, that is hideous looking. No fashion to be found here. Helmet. We we'll just do whatever. I have so much uh, weight left. Yeah, let's go with this for you night fans out there. This Fire Knight skill, so I don't actually have that. This increases damage, but damage taken as well. I know this has good stats on it, but I honestly don't want to look that way. This actually increases faith as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for the armor, the knight look for your knight fans. Also not a bad one, to be honest. 
This one's slightly better, so let's go for it. Right. Let's, uh, let's find someone to try this on, shall we? Well, we should just play. Anyways, what were we doing now? Oh yeah, yeah, the... So this, uh, actually when I booted the game, I, I had to rewatch the cutscene of the water being drained and I had to come back down here and uh, come back down here and uh, reactivate the, uh, the Lost Grace. A bit odd, never happened before. So right, in order to actually uh, be able to use this bow, but also pop. The, uh, this one could you just use two talismans that give me strength. But let's keep some of the damage as well. So let's wake this giant turret up. Some Not sure if a friend can get inside here. Be able to actually. Actually, at this rate, I might just wanna. Mantle of Thorns. What the banana is that? We'll check that in a second. First... I don't really care if the developers have made these enemies slightly unique each. And then I might have missed out on one new move that they do. Don't care. Don't like the enemy. Not gonna waste my time on it. Uh, what did I just get? What is this? Sorcery. Cover self with scatter tree impenetrable thorns. Sorcery of those who abandon the, the practice of incantations after the devout faith rewarded them with only despair. The caster rounds their own flesh using impenetrable thorns grown from the scattered tree, which then cover the body entirely. Once covered, the dodge rolls will damage enemies. The image of the misshapen scattered tree is an edict. Spurn all that exists, wound, wound all that exists, or we have been abandoned. I'll let you guys live. You just took a beating from... Now, I will not be surprised if there is another one. Because to be fair, there was another one that spawned over there. And I'll also be kind of upset if there are enemies down here. Humanoid enemies, because why the hell would they be down here? Okay. It's like a shortcut, I mean, like a hidden. No. Dark as usual.
should I get? 46,000. There is a fire knight above though. You could potentially jump down. I knew it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Right. At least we should be safe here. Uh, Iris of Occultation, isn't that, is that related to this dude? At least it sounds like it, because the other one was like Iris of Grace, I think. Oh, maybe he's like a follower, like a devout servant of uh, Marika. And we can either give him like race or we can like pull him into the occult place the iron in order to deny them the light in all its forms <laughs> that sounds nice in you know, as the dark as night place on the eye of another to deny them light in all its forms can also be used to receive the blessing of an equipped great rune at the cost of all the runes currently held in the realm of shadows, this artifice was employed by the priests of the earth tree to intensify the fear of their flock to magnificent effect. Sounds like something I could do. Not entirely against it, so. Let me give it a try. Oats. Okay. Go back here. Let's see how we can fare against the crabs. I was not okay with both of them. Oh, yeah, they're just gonna smash each other, huh? Right. I mean, in terms of raw damage output, I'm not really. I mean, I can do this. <laughs> Crab murder. <laughs> it's a good crab murdering tool. But in terms of raw damage, it's probably better for stacking status effects, right? I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong. I really like it. But I think there are other Ashes of War that do more damage. Why is there... Excuse me? This guy is different. He raised some dead people. We can sneak up around. 
No, we cannot. Why do we have to fight this dude? We need to explode the people. I have a feeling I'm gonna need uh, fire res for this one. I think I need anything else here. to get the suicide bombers to to aggro This fight's not going too well. And I'm gonna say the damage of this uh, Ash of War isn't that great. Which leads me to be believe a status effect is the way to go. And these guys are... Uh, they're not a attacking. One of them did. Did you guys just do something? that dagger. I think we definitely have to go with some sort of status effect on this. Explode in my face. 
Oh. Attack is so delayed and has like a million range. 